There's a division between the two. You have to leave that be said. If that's their role, to be a, a, a destroyed ass nigga, trying to be Egypt or whatever else they're trying to be, let them be that, man. Leave them alone. Let them go do their thing. And let them catch their missile. You, you ain't supposed to be worried about trying to click up and be cool, but we know the intent of what you're really trying to do. Yep. You're really you trying mean, to get some, some fame. Yep. You're probably trying to get some money out of it Built somewhere. It's but for it, but the fame. It, yeah. It's for the fame, man. Sarnetta, Sarnetta make, y'all make Sarnetta hot, and Sarnetta, or Sarnigga, he make y'all hot, man. Yeah. yeah. He, he, might, he might even drop you a chip if you come out. I need to I, come I out you, I, with this argument, yeah. this debate, this, this, and that. Well, I, bet I won't be surprised if you you in a debate soon. You probably you you love to debate anyway. That one nigga in IU 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 whatever they is uh, P C uh, P U K. Cesario. Cesario. I know he ain't down no more. Yeah. After he oh, got yeah. clowned for three hours with his right. woman. You right. should feel ashamed of that shit. That's that's jumping to the hell. You should feel ashamed and polite. You need your ass kicked. Yep. But, but nah, he. Pol I mean, why are y'all even dealing with Pope? Like he shot up your book, the book that y'all believe in. Shot it up. Y'all use the name, and y'all know the name is your house shot. But you let him shoot up your book, and you go and talk peacefully with him. Say them his brothers. Yeah. And he not going to bash. Him. Right. You. you that's getting a, that's a demon on you. Yeah. 28 and 1, I just want that. Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Right and it now. shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of thy Lord God. Now, now, when you out here teaching this word in sincerity and truth, this is what you're trying to do. Trying to get Israel back to the Most High so they can hearken diligently and get the blessings they're supposed to be getting. Keep reading. So you try to take this by, by saying that's cool and letting them in their Egyptology and their Pan-Africanism or whatever else prosper. You know, and let the keeping it alive, stirring up the pot with it again. You, you, you trying to uh, take people away from that. Go ahead. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of that Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. You don't want to be on high above all the nations. You want to be equal with them. This is a governing body. There's a top and there's a bottom. You don't want to be you and your people on top. You want everybody to be on, on, on top or be all even. It ain't supposed to be even. They say the black woman is God. You want to be even with a woman that bleed every goddamn month? No. Anyway, that's why you're going to get destroyed, man, because you keep waxing worse and worse, just like Dinobot, just like on and on and on. Everybody else that does it wax worse and worse, and they only come across, uh, come against GMS uh, in the Lord middle of the Lord. Lord. And the apostle. That's all you do. All right. Now back to where we was at. Read that again. Deuteronomy 28 and 1. No, no, no. I'm a select Ezekiel. Ezekiel 9. But I have to touch on that because do you even know what you're doing? But you don't care because you're out there for yourself. Hey, select so like, Right before you read that, this, this is my. my this is just a, 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 a question uh, to, to you, man. Alizé, if they your brothers, do you hold, because because we're supposed to keep the law, right? Do you uphold Deuteronomy? Do you believe that you're supposed to uh, upkeep Deuteronomy, the 13th chapter, and the 6th verse all the way to the, uh, the, the 10th verse? All right, all the way to the tenth verse. All right, Deuteronomy 13th chapter. If you believe that them, them, them heathens in the uh, the black unconscious community are your brothers, then read that law and see if if, if you if you're doing the right thing. All right, <laughs> that's it. And that's it. We can go, now, now we can go back to what we were uh, uh, back in the Ezekiel 9 and 6. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not, come not near any men who have the mark and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the, the ancient men which were before the house. The old ass people. And he said unto them, defile the house 
and fill the courts with, with the slain. Go forth. And they went forth and slew the city, slew in the city. And it came to pass while they were slaying them. And I was left that I fell upon my face and cried and said, O oh Lord God, will thou destroy all the residue of Israel in thy pouring out of the fury of Jerusalem? Now, they turn that music up loud so that way they'd be able to uh, cut the audio off on this video. Right. You know? I'm tapping right around this song. Yeah. That ain't nothing but Satan. I'm just saying, if you're the speaker, you can both read it. Let me get it. You got it already? I got it already. Got it. Second, second Edges 15 and 14. Yep. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. That's what Ezekiel was seeing. He was seeing a lot of destruction around him. And he fell on his face and cried to the Heavenly Father. Oh, oh, Heavenly Father, oh, your house. What's going on? What, what, what are you? Oh my, who's gonna be left? Everybody gonna die. Same thing that uh, Prophet uh, Edges was seeing. We gotta get Edges 15 and 14. Second Edges 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth not. Yes, the destruction draweth near. The killing instrument draweth near. Woe unto the world and everybody else. All the people without the mark are in the world. They gonna be destroyed. They gonna be hunted like a chased crow. That's right. Whether by the missiles or the men of the Lord or animals or beasts or whatever. You ain't or pestilence. You go or, or martial law troops or famine, starvation. You gonna get caught up with something. It's gonna chase you and hunt you down. There's no escape. Like that movie, The Blob. It'll go up, up the side of a building and go down in the, in the sewers. It'll go wherever it is, wherever you at. It can, it can get in there. You get think in. you didn't get in, but it got you. Just like that. That was all I wanted on there. Right, what was I want that one. What we're doing now, we're trying to warn you, hey, these prophecies are coming to pass. These prophecies are coming to pass. This is your wake-up call. Wake the fuck up and, and, and take this warning, and it's time to get right with the Heavenly Father. Men, stand up. Now's that time. You men of Israel, you elect. Yeah. Fuck the rest of you men out here. Fuck the rest of you people out here. And if you take that in the way, of, oh, they so rough, they so harsh, they cuss and they that, then you ain't meant for this. You're going to be chased like the rest of them. That's right. Romans 13 and 10. Romans 13 and 10. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Well, that was, that's the next verse. Verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now is the high time to awake out of sleep. Uh -huh. well, now is, this is your wake up call. This is your, parents, Kenya, this is a wake up call. People are getting killed over there. And a lot of it was probably Jason, a lot of Jason friends. And you know some Jason in the western coast of Africa, with Kenya. Cause I'm talking about that Sierra Leone, that, that pestilence that got people over there. Kenya, Jake dispersed through Africa, mostly Western Africa. That's people getting yeah. killed over there. That lets you know that this is the end times. Russia's still talking shit. Can't wait for America to flinch. Can't wait. Can't wait. They like, Putin, Putin got the button like, I'm ready. I'm ready. My, my people is already ready. drawn right here on my hip. My people ready. And they just test some more missiles right after those false flags. Yep. Right after those false flags that happened in France and over there in, in, in Kenya, um, Russia started testing uh, 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 nuclear missiles because, because they know that they're, they're, putting, they're blaming it once again on ISIS, right. just like how America blamed 9-11 for yep. Al-Qaeda. Yep. They're blaming the same thing uh, of the attack, the so-called attack 
in Paris on, on ISIS. Yep. And we know uh, uh, Russia is trying to take down ISIS to protect the Assad regime. Yep. And they own land. And they own land, right? So they know they're America putting it on it. ISIS, and they got the, the EU looking at uh, um, at, at ISIS. Uh -huh. And, we, and this, it's, it's common knowledge now that America, through way, by way of the CIA, Built them up. Set, set them up. Then so, it's, so it's raising tension between proxy the two, that even much proxy more. War. It's a proxy war, man. Right. And they needed those false flags to, to not only put you people to sleep, but to carry on that agenda that they're trying to bring forth to, to bring World War III and bring the New World Order, man. Let me tell you what, That's what this is all about. Let me tell you what they're doing with this, uh, this filter with the little press flag filter. That's so they don't have to dig into your page and find out how, what size you choose. Yep. That's, and nobody got Kenya flags up, but they count y'all that's going to try to throw them filters up. Yep. Just like they were taking a census on uh, the, the rainbow flags. They taking it on this France thing. On who's aware, who's down for the cause and all of that. Everybody's trying to see what's going on. They know what they're doing because they're getting you ready to be destroyed, man. To, to lock your ass up and, and put you in a concentration camp. In a FEMA camp, as it's called today. Uh. That's, that's why they uh, implemented martial law. They, they have to bring out the national emergency over there in France. Yep. They already have the military opening everything over there, man. They was already, they was preparing yeah. for it, man. Yep. Cause they know it was gonna be a stage, it's, that's how you know it was a staged event. Yep, they're too ready. All right. Stop, y'all. Putin had told his minister of defense, Putin had told his minister of defense to get every available citizen um, prepped for nuclear war. Yep. They are getting gas masks and other chemical clothing together for their citizens. Yep. They have built underground tunnels and, and, and living quarters for their citizens. Yep. Putin is just, he's on the button. He's ready. Yes. And that's the difference of a good leader versus us. We got, we got our countries prepping us to go into martial law uh, uh, slavery, so to speak. They don't put the chip and all of that, trying to get us chipped up and uh, going into martial law. Right in the concentration camps over here. That's what our government got good, our government got for us. They got that for us, but then they over there who, who, who's supposed to be our enemy, who's supposed to be our enemy, is, is trying to help his people. So if they come and knowledge will say, huh, who's the better leader? Who's really out for the good of his people? Who should you be, be uh, but then the Bible lines up saying that, uh, that there's gonna be a good thing for Israel, the so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, when Russia comes over here and does that, pursuant to uh, Ezekiel the 38th chapter. Yeah. So what do, so what do Negro, Latino, and Native Americans should be looking toward? You should be, be amping it on for Russia to push the button. You should be warning your people that, hey, this is about to happen. This shit is about to go down. It's the end of America, man. This is the end of my captivity here in America. Because if, if you don't know or don't believe, if you're a Negro, Latino, or Native American, that you in a mental, a spiritual uh, captivity, that's right. Slavery, then there's something really wrong for you. Just go eat your, 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 whatever you do in your daily life, and wait on your captivity, wait for your chip, and wait to keep the missiles. Hey, well, like you said, going back to the scripture where it says Romans 13 and 11, yep. and that knowing the time. Now is the time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. That's right. See, you niggas are, are asleep. You know, you Hispanics, you, you, you Negroes, and, and, and you, uh, you Native Americans, you asleep. And, 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 and the, the so-called white man, he got you exactly where he wants you to be. He wants you to stay asleep, man. You niggas are easily distracted, man. That's why you don't never know what's going on. All right? Every time there's an a, a event that takes take place here in America and other uh, places, but when it's like a, 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 a national event, like 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 last night, you just had that 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 bitch, that proud ass Edomite <laughs> yeah. bitch, Ronda Rousey, she got her fucking head knocked off, but now that's, everybody's talking about that, and they ain't, they ain't even seeing, uh, they ain't even trying to look between uh, uh, the lines to see what their government is doing. Yeah. With, with with the staged uh, uh, false Event. flags going on, and that it could possibly happen here, which is going to happen here. Yeah. You people, are, your minds are, are are distracted by the entertainment, man. Yeah. Now, y'all don't even see what the hell is going on. 
That's why you Negroes, y'all deserve to get caught in that snare, in that trap, man. Right. You deserve it. This devil doing all type of shit. Like, when they stage these events, it's basically for them to pass more laws, uh, laws man. That's right. Pass more executive orders for them to keep you, uh, to, to, to further put you people in captivity and keep you asleep, man. Slot. All right, your, your rights are being taken away with every event, man. And all they got to do is, is is set up a, a, a fight, you know, Ronda Rousey, Floyd. Floyd Mayweather, whatever, man. When they had that false flag over there in, uh, in, uh, in Paris, in France, they, uh, want, they said one of the attacks happened at a, a, a soccer game. Yeah, they, there was a few attacks. It, it wasn't was a few just of one. So they, they, they was well-timed and well-placed. So you on Friday the 13th. On Friday the day. 13th, right? You people didn't even question that, man. Because y'all know, according to the elites, that's that's the occultic numerology that the, that the elites go by, man. So that was a perfect day for them devils to, 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 uh, to set that up, man. All right? Hey, and, and, and what does it mean? What does entertainment mean? It means amusement. You know what the word amusement means? It means diversion. Yep. To divert your mind in a pleasant way. Yep. By way of distraction, using uh, 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 usually events. Yep. Whether it be sports, drama, theater, things of that nature. Boxing right? or UFC matches. Yeah. Bread and circus. Yep. That's exactly what y'all were doing yep. oh, yesterday. Uh, uh, that's, that's what y'all doing today. Yep. And then next week, y'all going to be on, uh, 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 what's that? Monday the, the, Night Football. Monday Night Football. I'm saying they never gave anything. All right. I, I won't. And then you're going to have the Cotto, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Cotto, uh, Cotto, Canelo. Uh, Canelo fight next weekend, man. Yep. They got it lined up so much that y'all don't get a chance to stop and think for yourself and actually pay attention to your surroundings. You never get a chance to do it because you don't, because you're so easily distracted. You got, American people are like, like little children. You know, they're like, like a little, like a little puppy or something. Something that if you throw a bone and then you whoop, they, they whoop the dog ass, the dog go, uh, it's all sad. Then you throw a bone, they'll be all happy. They come lick you. And then they go put you locked up on the cage and doing that. But then you throw a bone, they forget about the cage and all that. They run to you and get yanked and choked. That's just like you people. Y'all just dumb, man. Any little thing you throw in y'all face, oh, the new episode by Wednesday, y'all gonna forget all about all this shit because y'all gotta watch him. Easily Empire. manipulated. You easily manipulated, easily distracted, easily uh, diverted back no to attention wickedness. Span. You, you have, you all you, you have been created to have, or been, uh, how Short. do you say it? Short attention You've span. been programmed to have ADHD. But With it's like ADD, videos. ADHD. Everything is a two-second clip. Yeah, you need instant gratification for you American citizens. That's, that's what they got you on. With YouTube, you click on it this there. Okay. If I, like before, I remember when I was young, back in the day, you know, you have to hear, if you want to hear your favorite song, you have to wait and listen to the radio all day to catch it, till the album came out. Or to hear it, you buy the album. And you gotta try to get to it. Back in the 70s, you had eight tracks. Oh, you had you to wait. You gotta wait. You gotta hear that whole album Again. till it come back around. Yep. Ain't no rewind. Ain't no rewind. You gotta wait. But that's now this is gratification. You guys want everything at the click of a button. Two seconds ain't fast enough. If I one click ain't fast enough. But guess what? That's how the Heavenly Father gonna come on you. One day it's gonna be all beautiful and happy and sun shining and, and, and food in the grocery store. The next day it's all gonna be rubble. Gloom. And we're trying to warn you, elect us before the time comes. Verse 12, it says, verse 11, and that, knowing the time, that now is the high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Hold on, Let me, I'm going to use the analogy without grabbing the script on it. Back when he says, some of you are dumb, deaf, and blind, or, or, or says, you got eyes to hear but cannot hear, ears to, to I mean, I, ears to hear but cannot hear, uh, eyes see. to see but can't see, and, and, uh, and a mind to understand but you don't get it, right? To roughly paraphrase that. That's because you sleep. People are mostly in that close, uh, in a cold-minded state like that when they're asleep or dead, spiritually dead. So we're trying to wake you up out of that. If you are of the elected, you will wake up.